Let us offer the fruit of our lips. Hear the sacrifice, the fruit of our lips. Be still and know. Greetings, friends and brethren. Paul Mays with you. I am your servant, a servant of Jesus, and I am therefore your servant. The ways I serve are many. And my intention today is to serve you by building you up, edifying you, giving you information about God and the, the hope that we have in Him. Welcome to another episode of The Fruit of Our Lips. We're going to take apart my lyrics by the authority of Scripture to make sure that they add up. Now, in this case, this is another hymn that sings almost entirely straight Scripture. So there's really no checking behind this one. We can know that we are singing truth when we just sing straight Scripture. We're going to look at the lyrics, but before we do that, let's have a listen. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted. Pray that this hymn has been accepted by God. That's the whole thing, folks. We're trying to serve God here when we sing. We offer a sacrifice, the fruit of our lips, thus the title of our segments, to God Almighty. And I also pray that you have comfort from these scriptures. These are some very comforting passages that I've put written into this hymn. Let's look at them together. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. There is one God. That appeals to me so much. The comforting thought of knowing that there is just one God. We can count on His promises. God is true. God is just. He loved us enough to give us the inspired word that completely equips us. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. It has all we need to know how to serve Him, worship Him acceptably, and ultimately get to bask in the glory of God for eternity. Psalm 46, 10 and 11 is the, is the uh, first verse, and it's straight. I just sang the scripture. Uh, that, in this case, is the New King James Version for that. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. 
The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. The second verse reads, and this is so comforting, the peace of God that passes all, all our understanding shall keep our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus, who is Lord. I tie in the end of that first passage from Psalms at the end of each verse. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. And that is Philippians 4, 7, 4. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. What comforting words these are. I intended this hymn to be a very comforting hymn. Encourage us to rest in the promises of God. Feel comfort through knowing God. Let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, for the wrath of man is not of God. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. I recently learned, as in night before last, that that proper context on that James passage is being swift to hear the authority from God in His Word. I did not realize that. I just learned that from Brother Teske. It was eye-opening. It's good to get proper context. Let's take a little Paul tangent. I encourage you to never give up learning from the Word. I have a strange analogy. I'm an outside-the-box kind of guy. The Bible is like the birth of video games. Where am I going with that? Well, in the beginning of the birth of video games, when video games were first being introduced, the designers of these games were given the job, the task of making the games instantly playable, but it should take a long time to master it. Now, we can't ever master the Bible. We will never run out of things to learn from the Bible, but we can get into it right away and learn some very basic principles about the one God, the one church, the one way of salvation. But then we could spend the rest of our lives digging in and learning new things from the same passages over and over. You can get new nuggets of information, pearls of wisdom, another one of my hymns that we'll cover in a future episode, for the rest of your life. It's beautiful. It's, it's a merciful God that we serve that would give us something like that where we can continue to seek His face, continue to seek His knowledge. I'm grateful for that. James 1, 19 through 20 taught, taught me a new thing, or Brother Teske led me to some uh, deeper understanding there. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. James 1, 19 and 20. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. My soul will wait for God alone, for my hope is from Him, my salvation. God will be my stronghold. I'm unmoved. You talk about a comforting passage. There it is, brethren. That's beautiful. Psalm 62, 5 and 6. My soul Wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. I pray that this hymn edifies you and strengthens you and gives you the comfort that only God Almighty can provide us. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the fruit of our lips. I'm your host, Paul Mays. We will see you next time. Let us offer the fruit of our lips. Hear the sacrifice, the fruit of our lips.